Good morning. It's great to see you. I'm Uttara. Today we're going to go over the bicep muscles. Why do we need to be concerned about the way we do our bicep curls? Of course, many people like to have defined biceps. It's all good, right? Good muscle tone, we love it. The issue is that often in order to have more of a, like more exaggerated um, bicep, people tend to do bicep curls with a reduced range of motion. Now, if you're a bodybuilder and that's what you're trying to accomplish, great. For the average person, if you're gonna hold onto a golf club, if you're going to lift things up and down, if you're going to open a door properly, you need to make sure that the biceps are strong and long, both at the elbow and up into the rotator cuff. Often what happens, people just shorten the biceps too much, they even they straighten their arm and compromising things happen. So we want to prevent that from happening in our activities. So what I'd like to do is a hold position with the arms almost extended. The arms will be just slightly bent like this, but it squeeze the arms. So you're not just staying here like in a loose position, rather engage your glutes, engage your core, shoulders, blades retracted, and just squeeze the arms really firmly so you feel biceps engaged. So I like to do this with weights. I don't use anything heavy with this. If you're very strong, you know, whatever, 50 pounds if you want. These are 10 pound kettlebells. Again, the arms are slightly bent and the arms just by the sides, not jammed into the sides, just loosely by the sides. We're going to hold this for one minute. Great. All right, so press the toes down into the floor. Engage your glutes, bring the shoulder blades back. Prevent the shoulders from rolling forward. Squeeze your biceps. Feel your muscles engaging. Keep the shoulders back. Notice abdominal muscles will have to engage. Keep the toes pressing into the floor. Activate the glutes again, keep the shoulders back. Tone down the neck, the chin parallel to the floor. Squeeze your arms. You might know, like some people I would say, can really feel that one side is much more engaged than the other. And so when we're holding, squeeze your biceps again, squeeze your arms. Be sure the wrists are slightly tipped up. Sometimes people let the wrists hyperextend, like they bend the wrists backward. So oh, squeeze the arms again. Keep the shoulder blades retracted. Here we're working on a, always neuromuscular connections from the ner nervous system and the muscle proper stimulation. And here you note the bicep muscles are lengthened. We're strengthening the tendons that attach the biceps into the elbow up into the shoulders. Squeeze your arms again. Great, use the glutes again. Shoulders stay back. Don't let the shoulders roll forward. Good. So this will give lower muscular support to both shoulders and elbows and wrists, obviously. And release. Okay, the next part of this is really fun. Um, so here, we're going to do what I call a drop. So you're going to do a bicep curl and then just drop. But it's not a swing, so you don't want to let the arm swing behind you. Like imagine um, like a tennis racket where you swing, the ball hits the, the, the strings in the racket, they need to come, bounce back and come back to the neutral position. The same thing with the tendons in your arms. When you move your arms around, the tendons need to hold that, that same structure. So when we're straight, we want to do a curl and then release, curl, release, and you drop it a little bit quickly to build up that, that um, resilience of the tendons. So here I'm going to use five pound weights. You can use dumbbells if you like to, I like kettlebells. Or cans of soup are really good for this exercise. So again, you just do your, your curl, bicep curl. And make sure your weight holds, start again. We're going to do 50 reps. Keep your glutes together, keep the shoulder blades back, chin parallel to the floor. Make sure your core is activated here. Ready? Curl and drop. Keep the glutes engaging, keep the shoulders back. Notice how core muscles will have to stabilize here. Don't let the arms swing behind you. So you're almost straight, but not fully straightened with the arms. Keep squeezing those glutes. Twenty more. Don't let the arms swing. Don't let the arms go behind you. That's better. Neck. Minimize the neck here. Shouldn't be really tightening up the neck muscles. Use your shoulders, use your arms, biceps for sure. And recover, good. 
And you'll notice that definitely you feel like you've worked your biceps. But the exciting thing is you've gone through the full range of motion, plus you build up the elasticity of those tissues. So when you do have to reach for something or catch a ball, that you'll be able to have the proper strength to hold the joints together. So thank you, I'm Uttara. Please see my other YouTube channel videos. And if you'd like to join our Zoom classes, the link should be below in the, in the comment section. Have a great day. Enjoy all your sporting activities.